and Allah answers your dua in that night, then uh, you change uh, you change qadr, meaning you change predestination, that which was predestined. Yeah. See, it could be, for example, a person who is a sinner, a person who is a sinner, and uh, all year long they sin, but they're believers. And come this month, they they decide that they want to reform themselves. They make sincere repentance to Allah on this night. Sincere repentance. That repentance is worth a thousand, it's a lifetime's worth of repentance. And they are sincere about it. Allah answers their, their, their dua. They, you know the person, we said that when you choose your deed, if you choose good deeds, that good deed is like a signpost to, to paradise. It's, you're on the route to paradise. You choose a bad deed, you're on route to, to the hellfire. Meaning that this bad deed will lead you to another bad deed and to another bad deed, to another bad deed. It's a signpost that leads you along the same route. And that route only leads to one place. But come that night, the person who's making these deeds, doing the bad deeds, makes sincere repentance to Allah. Allah forgives them. Allah forgives them. They ask for guidance in this night. Allah forgives them. Allah guides them. The most merciful, the most gracious, forgives them and takes them from that route to the other route. All because of that one dua. So your dua is has the power of changing uh, that which was predestined. It has the power of changing uh, your destiny. It has the power of changing that which is decreed. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you, make, you catch this night and you make the right dua in this night. You ask for wealth, you ask for children, you ask for, for, for paradise and for dosal ala. Don't ask for the dunya and leave the akhirah out. Because you may gain the dunya and you lose the akhirah. What's the point of that? You only live a number of years. So you, you ask for, for both. And, uh, and if, you're able to catch, if you're able to catch that night and you, you make the dua and you're sincere and you expect Allah to answer, Allah will answer you. Allah will answer you. The Prophet said, uh, Allah will forgive them all their sins. So this is the sinner. Allah forgives them their sins and puts them on the right track. And now they're doing the good deeds. And you know, Ramadan is a month of uh, cultivation. You, uh, you do the good deeds on a daily basis. Even if you're, uh, the person's a sinner. And they do it all year long, they're doing sin. But this month, they decide that they're going to stop. And, they, and, they, and, they, and, they, and they're doing good every single day. You know, if you do something consistently, even if it's small, but you do something consistently for like 30 days. Some say a little bit less. But 30 days, you do that consistently, it becomes a habit. If you kill yourself every day to do that thing, uh, that may not be a habit. But something which is easy upon you, that you can do consistently for 30 days, it will become a habit. And you're making repentance for 30 days, it becomes a habit. You're making that connection with Allah for 30 days, it becomes a habit. You catch this night, Laylatul Qadr, and it changes your decree. Allah, in His infinite, infinite mercy, He blesses us with uh, paradise. And it could be just on, on this night. I'm not saying that you should leave it the rest of the year, but you, you, uh, if, in order to know that your, your Ramadan has been accepted, you have to see that there's consistency in your behavior after Ramadan. If we go straight back to what we were doing before Ramadan, of sin, then, it's as, uh, then it shows that there was no sincerity in that dua. When we asked Allah, we weren't being sincere. And, when, and we said that, you know, what did the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam say? Man qama Ramadan imanan wa ihtisaban. Imanan with sincere belief. So you have to have sincerity. And if you catch it with sincerity and expectancy, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in His infinite mercy will give us that. 